Retreat Thieves is coming on October 27th with a new event, show and round, so here's all the info. So quickly, how the round works, it has 8 to 12 players, meaning 4 treaters and 8 trickers in a full lobby. If you've played Sweet Thieves before, this sounds familiar, of course, treaters are guardians and trickers are thieves. So basically, the trickers are trying to steal the candy, sweets, eyes, <laughs> and the treaters are trying to defend and capture the trickers. The gameplay you can see in the background is from FG Pancake on Twitter, so you can get a good idea of what the round is like from this gameplay. Other info throughout this video is from 4 Guys DB, the 4 Guys Wiki, which are both websites, and FG Leaks and Info on Twitter. Okay, so that's pretty easy to understand, just hide and seek like Sweet Thieves, but on a new map with some new names and stuff. But also a quick explanation of the show, which is basically also the same as Sweet Thieves. The description says, be the sneakiest tricker or the greatest treater in this spooktastic show. And it's just one round, 8 to 12 players, 14 crown shards for winning, yeah you get it. It's running from October 27th to November the 1st. Just just like the event, and that's when you'll be able to play the round. The round itself probably won't be available outside of the show, so make the most of it, but also bear in mind the show will likely come back at a later date, and could potentially be available in customs soon if we're lucky. Alright, enough of that, it's very comparable to Sweet Thieves, you get it. Now for the actual events, challenges and rewards, let's start off with the challenges. So check out Treat Thieves by playing as a treater and playing as a tricker. Pretty simple, just get on both teams in the show by playing a few times and boom, that's two challenges done. Protect Candy by grabbing 35 trickers as a treater, so just play the game normally as a treater by capturing trickers. Earn 80 points by carrying candy as a tricker, two things this could mean, either score 80 points by scoring 8 pieces of candy, which is quite a lot, or just carry candy for 80 seconds, it's probably the second option of just 80 seconds. Show your skills and grab 5 trickers in one match as a treater. The rest of the challenges can be done across multiple matches, but this one requires you to do it in a single match. Shouldn't be too difficult though? Press buttons as a tricker 20 times, so if you know the Sweet Fuse button, they should be basically the same. Follow trickers through 40 wormholes as a treater, and outplay treaters by jumping through 40 wormholes as a tricker. Yep, if you are observant, you'll have noticed the wormholes in the background footage, you gotta jump through 40 of them as each roll. Seems quite interesting, and the final two challenges are just to win 5 and 10 times. Sound difficult, but just bear in mind that there's two teams in this round, so it's not really that difficult to get carried and win 10 times. If you just play for a couple hours, you'll definitely get these done. Leave a like if you're ready to complete all these in just a couple days. Okay, rewards time. Each of these challenges is worth 100 points for a total of 1,000, so 200 will get you the Treat Thief nickname, 300 points will give you 200 kudos, 500 points will give you this haunted nameplate, which can we take a moment to appreciate how good that looks? Okay, thanks. 800 points for the pumpkin patches pattern, and yeah, those are pumpkins, alright. And for the grand reward, please subscribe because only 9% of people do, and also turn on notifications so you don't miss future 4 guest stuff. Okay, 1000 points gets you the Jack O Loafers lower accessory. Some shoes, slippers, whatever. <laughs> okay, I know a lot of you want full costumes for events, but honestly, these aren't too bad in my opinion. So, a quick recap this event goes from October 27th to November 1st, which is also when the show and round are available. All info in this video is leaked from these sources once again, and also I want to know in the comments how you feel about everything about this event. Right, Season 3 leaks are on the right, and current round pool video is on the left. Hope you enjoyed and you're excited for the event or whatever. I really suck at outros other than advertising and screens. Bye!